Imagine me meeting someone for the first time on social media and we get to meet for the first time. And of course, I usually tell people on social media, I'm a very short girl. I'm very short. That, yeah, it's not about height. It's not about this. It's not about that. My name is Sani Alhamida. I'm from the northern part of Nigeria. I'm from Kebi State. I study mass communication at um, Moshud Abiola Polytechnic at Bell Kuta. I'm actually practicing uh, marketing communications. My height is partially hereditary. My mom is short. My dad is average, not too short, not too tall. I have siblings, my sisters. My younger sister is even taller than I am. You know, and she doesn't even have the body that I have and all that. So some of, like one of my sisters, like let me just say two of my sisters have this petite, but a little bit tall, not too short, not too tall, just after my dad. So I will just conclude and say maybe it's just hereditary. That's why I say partially hereditary because my dad is not that tall, but my mom is very short. While my dad is just, you know, average. I believe I'm a unique being and that my height should not define who I am, you know. So my relationship with people in school, I can remember when I first got into school and I was made to represent my group. And, you know, we had about close to a thousand audiences at that time. And people were asking me, um, how did I face the crowd? I can remember my lecturer then got interested in me because of the, um, the uh, my voice command authority, let me put it that way. So my relationship with people actually grew because of that confidence. And it grew out of the fact that uh, while I was growing up, I believe in my height should not define who I am or what I become. So that actually gave me a lot of morale to face a lot of people. And that attracted people to me. I saw myself while I was growing up as, if you are tall, the same way you feel like you are tall is the same way that I feel that I am short, right? And the fact that I agree to understand that being short or your height is not actually a disease, you know, and should not define who you are. So at one point of my life, I've never felt bad about my height, right? I've never felt about my height, even though I got intimidated by a lot of people, a lot of people, but because of my orientation about self, it was very um, easier for me to just move on and accept who I am and how I am. Over the years, my relationships, no short guy has ever approached me before. You know, all my relationships, all my exes, all my boyfriends, you know, all of them are, you know, on the, you know, tall side. There's this confidence that comes naturally when you are moving with tall guys and they are not just tall guys they are tall huge guys so you know <laughs> automatically it's command respect and when people see me say ah oh look at that short girl ah, ah, oh you know that kind of thing so it kind of attracts people more to me during my service here you know people will say ah, ah, ah look at this small girl inside khaki and all that and mind you, while I was in camp, they couldn't get my shoe size. So thankfully, the, the, uh, I got a cobbler that, you know, got my shoe size, that my, my boot, my boot size to 37, right? So getting that size, it attracted a lot of people because when I go to my PPA, when I go to my CDS, a lot of people will see me. And the most interesting thing is when I bought um, buses like taxi or public transport. I don't get to pay for my tea fare. A lot of people get attracted to me and they just like, ah, copper show, copper show, ah, mama, mama. You know, a lot of people, even all the street guys, all these, um, you know, guys, you know, they pay for my tea fare. When I sit with anybody, like, copper show, they pay for my tea fare. For my one year of service, I can really count the number of times I paid for my transport with my own money because a lot of payments you know, citizens of Nigeria, you know, we still have people, good people in Nigeria. They paid for my tea fare and all that. So people's reaction is always like, wow, wow, look at this short girl, look at this small girl and all that. Look at this, this and all that. People will call me names, ah, Shotina, people call me, people call me Shotina, ah, uh, uh, small girl, 
I, you know, all those sort of names, but I sort of see it as a means of popularity and it actually paved way for me a lot of times when I walk into institutions, when I walk into companies, you know, and I open my mouth and I speak, you know, people forget about the height. It makes me feel like I'm not actually short, I'm actually cute and petite. That's just the reality. That's just what it makes me feel. It makes me feel, it is not about being short, it's about being cute, it's about being petite, and it's about loving who you are. It's about, you know, moving in that confidence that is not about your height, but about what impact you can make in lives of others. My height has, um, has actually denied me um, some opportunities. I, I used to have a um, passion for the movie industry, for example, and I sometimes when I go for auditions, most of the roles are usually, you know, allotted to uh, people that has height. My height has actually helped me to gain some access, access to opportunities, some opportunities, because uh, I call it favor anyways. You know, when I go for, for example, where I work, when I go to see clients and I speak with them, they probably may not want to see my other colleagues. But once I go there, some of them are like, ah, yakikiri, ah, small girl, you know, that kind of thing. I was like, oh, okay. So that kind of open door, like it kind of give a cue to interactions. For example, I, I, I led my team for a media show in one of the leading schools in Lagos. So the school owner is very aged and I, I was supposed to grant her an interview, right? So she didn't want to grant anybody interview, but immediately she saw me like, ah, uh -uh, yeah, yeah, come, yeah, yeah, come. She granted me the opportunity to, you know, do the interview for her. And afterwards, she requested I, I send, I give her my number and all of that. That's another opportunity. So sometimes my eyes kind of want to ah, okay, let us even hear what she wants to say. That kind of, oh, let, ah, okay, let, ah, small girl, okay. Come, let us hear what you want to say because a lot of people feel that okay, small girl, uh, what does she have to say? You know, you know, maybe for for their own personal, let's just see what she wants to say. So I will for one person say that my heart has given my height has given me a lot of uh, opportunities that you know that's helped me close deals as a marketing person, it has helped me achieve a lot of things, even as an individual. Imagine me meeting someone for the first time on social media and we get to meet for the first time and of course I usually tell people on social media I'm a very short girl I'm very sure that yeah, it's not about height it's not about this it's not about that so there was this guy when we met I I love wearing heels you know I just love wearing heels it's sort of it, it's poise for me so this guy just we just made the guy was like very tall. Like when we say somebody is extraordinarily tall, the very guy was very, very tall. So the guy was partially looking, I was partially looking at the guy like this. So wearing my heels, the funny moment of it is that after we left the E tree that we met, I was just walking on the road and the my heels, the other part of it is just bent. Bam. And broke. Bam. So my height. <laughs> my height in like you know is meant to you know is meant to increase right when you wear the heels like it's reduced and I was now looking at the guy like from oh palaco wow so after the meeting I thought the guy was actually going to cut the you know communication and all of that but it was opposite because he saw beyond the height right so and I think the, 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 the totality of everything I've been saying is so there are some people that have inner eyes that sees beyond the eyes.